love these awesome reviews. With special guest reviewer Brooke. Cool Beko Chocolate Treat Mako. I have a guest reviewer here today, my sister Brooke. I got this cool chocolate mako for Christmas and these chocolates too. I'm gonna open it up and see what it's like. There's, I think this has instructions. This is cool. Holy things. And these chocolate molds. There's this one. I think I got some more ones. There and stuff. I think it's blue and blue. That's kind of stuff. And these are, they're like, I have no idea what these are. No idea. Now what's this? Oh, it's, I think it's a thing where you melt chocolate in. When you put it in there and then you melt chocolate. So, my mom put it together and it didn't take very long. Ta-da! And so, um, and here are some materials. There's this. I think it, you can make sure, like, the chocolate gets in the mold. And this, I think you, like, scoop, uh, like, scoop the chocolate in. And then for this, I forget what you do with the spatula, and that's what it is. And so, what you, how you walk that is... So there's this little twisty tab that you open and you put hot water into the metal. And that you melt the chocolate. And then here are the molds. And these are little pop things that you put like right there in there. And so there are all, there's a lollipop or candy or something. And there's a cupcake with a stick. So you put this on. There's an owl and there's Present diamond heart. So my mom got me these chocolates. There's pink. Those shades. There's brown. There's red. There's purple. I did not know how to say blue. Okay, there's also one white or oh, yellow. She bought them. She bought them separate. So I picked the cupcake pop or cupcake and the candy or popsicle. My mom got the chocolate milk already and poured hot water in there. And I chose blue, red, and white yellow for the chocolate. And so I'm going to put them in. So I put red in. I'm doing blue. Okay, wait a second. Ta da! So the chocolates are in now, and now we have to wait for them to melt. It's been melting for about five minutes and I'm going to store the red right now. First I'm going to put cookies, but that's what these have to do right here. So I take the little bean brush and dip it in the color I want. And for the details, I make sure it gets in the right spot like this. Mm. 
now I got the details on, I'm going to put it in the freezer. So, we wait five minutes and now we're going to take it out of the freezer. Now I'm putting more of the melted chocolate in. More. I got it filled up and snapped it close. Now I'm gonna put it in the spin thingy. Now I'm going to spin the chocolate for one minute. Now it's all spun and now I'm going to put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. This is my little brother spinning the, the chocolate he made. Here's my sister spinning the chocolate she made. It's been about 15 minutes and now I'm going to take my chocolate out of the freezer. I'm supposed to wait one minute until opening it. Now I'm supposed to twist and tap to get them out. Now I'm going to see how it tastes. Yummy! Yummy! <gasps> I would rate this for 9 out of 10 because it takes a long time to melt them. It's, but it's really fun. They look really pretty. <clears throat> and, uh, and it's fun to put the melted chocolate in the, in the little mouth. And they look really pretty. And they taste really good. So, bye!